One. One. Merry Christmas. Go. Dude. Oh, Dude. stop. Dude, Merry Christmas. Come on. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy birthday. Happy Valentine's. Happy birthday. Happy we didn't have to do a one minute video because we're in this <laughs> crazy time rush. I tell you guys, my, my fault on the scheduling side, as if as if they knew, knew who to blame, right? Oh, they totally blame me. No, everybody You're knows the... I'm the schedule guy. And I messed up so bad that we've just been absolute, and, and just real life has just been absolute crazy that uh, yeah. I, I, I just, I don't have anything, I don't have an excuse other than an apology, right? It's just, I'm sorry. We've, it's just been t rough. You know, we actually got some c nice compliments on that video. They're like, wow, this is the coolest little wrap up TBR thing ever. It was really nice to have just you like two what? minutes. And did you, did you, there were some take, positive comments. It, it, you ever like, sometimes wonder because you there's no voice behind the text but like sometimes when like let's say someone doesn't comment often right and they comment on that video and they're like man i really like it when these are real short and it's just kind of like how am i supposed to take that like <laughs> you like our videos when we like, don't talk very much well, yeah like, like that you, seems counterintuitive you, you don't want to hear me like that <laughs> I thought you'd come here for my stupid ramblings. What? I, I feel like, well, but that's such a high school comment, but that's just where I am in life that I'm just kind of like, I don't know how to take that statement, but okay. You know, I appreciate you stopping well, they, by. Then they commented and we asked them to do that. So we appreciate you. All right. Pick of the month for February crypto. If we remember how to do these February, what are you going to give me? For pick of the month. Uh, are you going to guess mine? Are we going to guess? No, no, just just give me that. We'll guess. We'll guess ratings. Oh, okay. Uh, Sunny's Blues. Mine is going to be rec recitative, actually. Oh, oh, yeah, that one was awesome too. Do we, you, I mean, I think we had every single one of ours was amazing this month. But do, yeah. do you ever like retroactively kind of think back on those and maybe like change your opinion a little bit, like bump it up a little bit or bump it down? Yes. I yeah. Think a lot I mean, of times when we uh, recitative was a ten. And it's still a 10 for me, but I just keep going back to it, how it's like a tool. Like you could use that and be like, when someone's like, I don't see color, it's just like, well, well come read the story. Like, let's talk about it. And then that may bring out some things that you weren't thinking about, you know? If Sonny's Blues wasn't read in this month, I think that that would have probably been my pick. That book, that, that story was absolutely amazing. And it's just, it's so deep and it's so unique the way that it's written. That's really cool. But to be able to get a non-music guy like me to invest in music in my own brain. Did you know that I was going to originally put that in the January best story of all time? It got booted for, I think it got booted for, for a, a Du Bois story. And then the Du Bois mm, story okay. got booted for the Langston Hughes story. Uh, Didn't I, I, I pick those ones? <laughs> So <laughs> those are the ones I picked. We're gonna get to them, and, you know. Uh, like I think, I think either next month or the uh, month after is when we're doing the Du Bois story. But man, yeah, Sunny's Blues would have. I think Sunny's Blues would have taken a uh, short story of the year, month, whatever for us. Had we kept it in January. Oh, we should do that in December if we remember. We could do a short story of the year. What was the best one we enjoyed for the whole year instead of just the month? We could do that whenever we want. Like we're. Award ceremonies like the Oscars aren't like, dude, it's not January 1st. We can't take it yet. Like, you just do them whatever. Like, we could do, we could dress. Oh, let's dress up in suits. Dress, and up. Do, dress up. You want to do uh, it? Okay. We'll, oh, yeah. We'll, just, yeah. We'll, we'll pick a random day or something like that. And that'll be like our short story of the year award ceremony for just whenever, like one year from like a certain day, like, you know, March to March or something like that. Let's not do it in the summer because it'll be so hot and under these lights <laughs> in Florida. Right, right, right. So, okay, so March. March is still cold, so we'll do a March best story of all time, right? Oh, okay. Do we have to read it? Yeah, mm. it's like it's, it's over the past year that okay. we've done. It's kind of like the Academy Awards. Oh, oh okay, we're, okay, we're okay. rating what we think the best were. Okay, our YouTube year. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Book two okay. year. Cool. R ratings we're just going to do real quick. Highest, you know, five out of five, collect it, go buy it. Or go get it. Buy it, four out of five, basically. Backlog it, three out of five. Library, that sort of thing. Skip it, probably not worth your time, two out of five. Trash it, mm, very dangerous. One out of five, do your research before getting. Okay. Novels, because we got a lot to go through here today. We got Near to the Wild Heart. I'm going to say you said buy it. I said buy it. Yeah, this is a good solid one. I think it's definitely worth a read at some point, but uh, there's so many other things you can prioritize over it. I think you also said buy it. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy it for that one as well. 100 Years of Solitude, you did not have time to get to. You, Like I said, we've had 
crazy, crazy months here, guys. Apologies. Uh, what are you going to say? I gave it. Did you watch our video on that? Do you watch videos that are just me or do you just watch videos just for you? Uh, I only watch the videos for you mm, because I feel like it makes me answer. smarter. <laughs> <laughs> you flattery will uh, get you everywhere, sir. Exactly. Um, I think I want to say buy it, but you seem pretty high on it to maybe give it a collect it. If there was one in between, I would say that, but I'll just go with buy it. You know, and that's the danger of analytical videos is you just do a specific breakdown. And that was a weird analytical video, too, because it wasn't a main point. The love in the story is kind of a tertiary point of how actions happen. So it's kind of a weird analytical video that I did on it in a sense, too. I'm actually probably more of a backlog, I think, on that Back one. Oh, um, well, hang on. If if I may defend, you probably didn't see the live stream with Noah. It, it's more I of the didn't. fact that we crammed it into a month. This is one that you and I could technically do a in-depth series on, so we'd need to take two months on it and do a couple chapters at a time because there's so many references to historical elements. Um, okay, let me put it this way. You ready for this one? I, yep. I honestly believe, and I backlog it just because I didn't give it the time it deserved. I honestly think it could be collected. I honestly believe... 100% in my heart that 100 Years of Solitude is the Absalom Absalom of Latin America. Like it is the one that has the DNA of my culture, of my peoples, of this is how I, I would, a lot. this is what I would put in a rocket ship to send up to explain how are we the way we are today. Absalom Absalom is my American one. My guess is I think a lot of, you know, from what I've read, a lot of Latin American individuals would send 100 Years of Solitude up. Okay, that makes sense. I literally skipped it, so I guess that's my rating. <laughs> well, you you just didn't have the time. Yeah. Now, um, yeah. the, the only good Indians was bought for for me, so I had it on my audiobook, which I know you don't have access to my audiobook. Um, so so I did that with Leslie specifically. Did you watch that video? You watch it for me, or did you watch it I for did. Leslie? What, you, me or Leslie? Who'd you watch? Leslie. It for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For Leslie. Right, of course. right answer. Right answer. Right answer. All right. So what do you what do you rate? <laughs> what do you think I rate it? Uh, I would say skip it. No. Huh? No. Well. Backlog it? Uh, this goes to our point earlier. It depends on who I'm talking to. You know what I mean? Okay. Like audience that's matters fair. for who I recommend this one for too. Hardcore dude that's like, bro, dude, I love Dostoevsky. Like, what would you recommend to me? Like, I'm not going to recommend this book to him. You know what I mean? Like, okay. it's not, a, it's not a, a bro dude novel, right? But the, <laughs> but the Only Good Indians is got some literary value to it. Um, but it's not one that, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, Hey dude, you really like Dostoevsky or, or Faulkner, go check this one out. Right. But if someone's like really into Stephen King, um, maybe this, this might be for you. This is, this is a fun horror novel with a little bit of literary value to it. So I, I will let you skip a true rating and you can just say it's situational. That's yeah, such a no way. I'm, I'm so, that's that's such the wussy answer. I'm gonna do the best. <laughs> I'm a peak rater, so I'll go with <laughs> I'll go with buy it as the highest rating I would give this one. All right, uh, their eyes were watching God. You rated that collect it. Yeah, we both gave it collect it. Oh hell yeah, Zora yeah. Neale Hurston. Mm. Now we've only read one novel on this channel. We've read three short stories. I'm in the process, almost done reading her uh, a biography on her by by um, whoop. Yeah, give me, give me, yeah. Valerie Boyd. Just thought I'd show that off real quick. Um, quickly becoming possibly one of my my favorite authors of all time. Zora Neale possibly. Hurston. I mean, possibly. she's an amazing author. I I, I, I don't know. I don't know stunning. what possibly means. I think she's in my top five already. Um. She could, that's a fair. I would agree with that statement. But but to be fair, I've only read I've only read what three or four of her short stories, uh, you know, in the one biography and the one uh, novel. Is that relevant though? I mean, I think so. I think if you so. only read one Faulkner piece, you could still say he's your favorite author of all you, time. No, no, you, you or if you only read one Vonnegut piece, you could still say he's your favorite author of one time based on one novel. No, I agree. That's I a agree. fair statement. I agree with that statement. I would also color that statement with the idea that let's say you've read four more and they're all stinkers. Right. Oh, okay. Then you might, you might, you, you might be like, "This is my favorite novel of all time," as opposed to "This is my favorite author of all time." That would change potentially your your assessment. So we need to get more into it, and I don't think that's going to change my assessment. But I need that in in my life, right? So we're going to do more Zora. It, it's it's going to be amazing. Um, uh, I had um. Go nope, ahead. nope. I had a uh, a book that I listened to here or there. I'm not done with it yet. 
uh, but it was uh, called The Demon Apprentice. It was free on Audible because I get those, uh, you get like mm-hmm. just included books now. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have anything to listen to because I was done with their eyes um, were watching God because um, I listened to it and read it. And so I was done with that. So I was like, well, I don't have any credits. So I downloaded that and uh, it's brain candy. It's kind of cheesy. It is a very blatant uh, Dresden Files teenager version ripoff mm-hmm. but it's good as filler as i listened you know five ten minute drive to work five minute ten minute drive back i've listened to it for a couple of hours um unless you're looking for youth novel stuff it's definitely a skip it so it's called the demon's apprentice by Who's ben reader ben reader well, well that's a meta name look at that all right <laughs> <laughs> now for ma- for manga that's going to be just me. We're doing Odin Host High School. We are only she's on ten. I'm like on eight. <laughs> I'm such a slacker. Can't read that one yet. You reading this with Leslie Smith? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. From Nerdy Narrative. Yes, sir. Go check out her channel. Okay. She's the best ever. Love her. All right. Short stories. Welcome to your authentic Indian experience by Rebecca Rowanhorse. You said. <laughs> Buy it. I said backlog it. Okay. I think this is I think this is to a specific audience. This is somebody that really wants to learn about that specific culture. Otherwise, I just don't think somebody's going to be interested and just sit down. Like if this is one of those where if you're forced to read it, it mm. starts to turn you off on reading because mm. it might not be a topic you're interested in. Mm. So backlog it. I think you said buy it, though. Yeah, I'm easy buy it. Easy buy it. The Gilded Six Bits by Zora Neale Hurston. Collect it. Easy. Mm-hmm. Definitely a. We'll go with. You said collected. Buy it. Collected signed copy. What? Buy, buy it? it? Yeah. That's how I feel. What? That's just how I feel right now. Maybe it's because we just oh. finished the Eyes Were Watching God that, you know. I mean. So you're high on that. So you're yeah, I don't, lower on which another? Is, which is completely unfair. It doesn't make sense. That's yeah. welcome, welcome to my world. Mary Elizabeth okay. by Jesse Redmond Fawcett. Hmm. You said buy it. I said buy it. You said buy it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good solid story. I, really I thought underrated. it had a lot of. Yeah. I feel like it has a lot of good points that it does feel kind of underrated and underappreciated and underutilized in classrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her novel is definitely more popular to assign. Now, up next, we have The Lesson when we talk about classrooms by Tony Cade Bambara. You said buy it. I kind of want to say this is one where I feel like I'm higher on it now that I've reflected back and mm. watched our video. I kind of want to say collected on this one because it's okay. fun. No. It is a fun one. I, I, I'll i go yeah. with buy it. I'm not a collected. I'm a buy it on that one. Uh, but very, very good. Now we're going to start entering. We're going to start entering into the not buy it category for Una. The Gooford Grapevine by Charles Chestnut. You said backlog it. Yeah, backlog it. I think there's other stuff. It, it's a interesting read, but there are better things to get your point across than this story. I like. Uh, I would I say actually, you say skip it, right? I actually say uh, collect it. That uh, the, oh. the, the the meta aspect of it of of what audience was he writing for? Writing it as a you know as a passing man. Really interesting when you get into it. Uh, the the hoodoo elements of it just kind of uh, yeah. I I really recommend the story. Okay. Sonny's Blues by Surprise James Baldwin. Well, uh, okay, these next it. two, these next two are collected. All right, Sonny's Blues yeah. by James Baldwin collected. <laughs> Rest of teeth, Tony Morrison collected. Go read those. Stop what you're doing. Stop, stop, stop reading whatever junk you're reading right now. Go read those two short stories, Sonny's Blues and Rest of teeth by Tony Morrison. You'll thank after, me after you finish this video and click the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Then, then go read those things. You'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll love it. Oh, and then join the Discord too, right? Because we're if you're wanting to join us on these, uh, you know, like the Brothers Karamazov that we're reading right now next month. Well, okay, hey, let's move into next month. Guess what we're doing next month? March. Yeah, we're gonna do March. <laughs> we're gonna march, <laughs> marching forward. So ooh, we should ooh, be ooh. wrapping up the Brothers Karamazov. I know we're a little behind on our videos. The live stream lifestyle for me. I'm not Christy Lewis, so I'm like, how does this work? Durr, 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 durr. Like I'm trying to figure it out, trying to catch up. By the end, we're noobs of, at it. Yeah. By the end of Brother Karamazov, we won't be noobs, and we'll have caught up our videos on that. But the other novel that. The, the, at least I'm doing, I don't know if crypto is going to be doing, but is actually the first place more often recommended to start with William Faulkner than any other. And that is as I lay dying. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be around for that one. We have uh, ACTs, SATs coming up. Uh, we're getting ready. I'm doing tutoring after school, uh, several hours for the AP exams that are coming up in May, and they threw a whole bunch of information out of this. Long story short, I got a lot of crazy stuff coming in the spring as a teacher, so I might have to start skipping a couple of the novels right. here or there. So right. you will see less of crypto a little bit. Um, you'll see for the you'll next see couple of months left of less of crypto yeah. physically but maybe what i'll do is i'll get like a little printout picture of like your face <laughs> and stick it on like something and just have it here <laughs> as like kind of like a a little buddy for me as i do solo videos potentially or have other guests on board you, you could get a cardboard cutout of me made I my sister got a that. bobblehead of i have my own bobblehead we my sister got that. me a bobblehead made of my yeah, in, my in first year teaching, that was the gift she gave to me. Like in honor of your ACT efforts and other busy, uh, you, you tend to disappear kind of around this time of year. Like you disappeared last year uh, around this time yep. too. It's just the nature of the game, right? Let's move yeah. into, so manga, we're going to continue Oran Horse Host High School with Leslie. Short stories, right? We're going to be doing, because we haven't had enough snow in our lives, right? Hey, <laughs> this Midwest. This is funny. People are hating you for doing this one. <laughs> Midwest, right? Like, good lord! And and I, my heart goes out to everyone in Texas that has experienced issues. Yeah, it's there not a been, laughing matter. There has been no. a lot of trauma, and you know, our hearts go out to you. Uh, we're going to be doing the Blizzard by Alexander Pushkin. We've recorded that story actually historically here in February, uh, or in, in um, yeah, in earlier February. Um, we've learned a little bit since then. There's a couple mistakes in that video, but we, we had a good time with that video and look forward to pushing it out. Uh, after that, we have The Man to Send Rain Clouds by Leslie Marmon Silko, a new to us author. Yeah, that one, uh, very excited about because that's something that we can kind of go back to, you know, a specific uh, niche culture. And uh, I love learning about that stuff. So, you know, that kind of draws me in. Uh, but again, it's not necessarily for everybody. And a shot to the heart is Flannery O'Connor, who pulls no punches with everything that rises must converge. Our friend Noah has done that video before. He did that, I think, last August in, in kind of memorandum. Uh, I probably, well, I can't say words. Uh, but we're going to have a different take on it. I think we'll put our own little spin and spiel on it. And we usually don't go as much in the religious side as he does. But check out his video, but we'll have our version of everything that rises must converge or crypto will def. I mean, there's what everything that rises must converge. So five words in a title. Do you guys want to put down below in comments what you think crypto will call it in the video? Because he won't call it the right title. That's for sure. <laughs> no, I'll definitely mess that one up. I'll definitely mess that one up. You could you could put a clip at the end of all the t uh you know outtakes of how many times i say things wrong on yeah, that let's, one <laughs> let's, let's hear it now put your bets down below what do you think crypto is going to call that for that video uh we're gonna do can, the the lady we're gonna do the lady with a dog or the lady with the toy dog depending on your translation by anton Chekhov. oh we haven't done a Chekhov story in a while have we so that's always good to get back to him i mean it was just so. through December? Well, I guess December's kind of a long time. That, I guess three months. Yeah. That's like two months ago. Well, did, I mean, because we've just been Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky. Did you know that um, this is actually his most popular story? So so Vanka is my favorite story of him, which apparently I'm the only one on that. Team Vanka, whatever. There's a lot of people that are team <laughs> lady with, with a dog. Okay, cool. So we read his second most popular. Now we're going to read his most popular. Yes, and now we get to the part where we realize that Uno meant to look up how to pronounce this author's name before the video, and he didn't, and I am a complete failure. So we're going to oh. do the thing around your neck, author name here, and I apologize when we do <laughs> Insert that. name. <laughs> yeah, I will. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try Go it. ahead. Go I'll, ahead. Embarrass, I'll embarrass myself. Chamanda Gozi Adidichi. If I were to guess, it'd be Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Adichi, would be. My I was guess. close. I, 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 we, I think. I think we did okay. No, no. We, we, respectfully, we do want to spend the time to look up authors' names. It's no. just been a crazy month, and it's, and this is my fault. This is my mistake for not looking this up. No, but I, I, you know, I always just try, you know, because I, I, there's still, I still have students' names I can't pronounce. I'm well, terrible, but I try. So, so, not, so we've been saying this name wrong all along, which I've known, but it's kind of like, you know, like those people that like when you say, I mean, how far do you take it, right? Is, are you ordering a burrito or are you are ordering a burrito? 
You know what I mean? Like, you know, those people that kind of go a little bit too overboard with, with how you authentically pronounce names. Like, oh, you know, there's a teacher at school that does that. Yeah. So, so okay. <laughs> we're going to do I'm like, two, bro, I'm we're, sorry. We're doing two <laughs> stories by, you can, you can choose your name. Is, are these stories by Clarice Lispector or are these stories by Clarice Lispector? Right? Like, where, where Clarice? are you? Clarice? Clarice Lispector. Those are, mm. I believe, how, you know, I'm not 100%, but roughly how you'd pronounce those. You decide what side of the fence you're going to be on. We're doing a report on the thing, which um, I've mentioned to Noah about doing with him, whether he actually does it. You know, I mean, hey, guys, I have no control over Noah. He's he's a wild man. It's like it's like living with uh, with probably like a Bruce Springsteen or, you know, he's just going to he's just going to wake up and be his own man. You know what I mean? I can't control him. But he said he's considering I, doing that with us. I bet if you did live stream, he'd do it with you. I guarantee you he'd do a live stream. He f- loves those live streams. All right. And the other one that we're doing is in search of dignity, in search of some dignity, in search of a dignity, depending on your translation, by Clarice Lispector. And I'm doing that with... Uh, with Leslie because you know crypto's busy over here. Hey, she will be a prettier replacement. If I'm the pretty one, she's the prettier one. So Dangerous. count yourself lucky. You're working yourself out of a job over there, buddy. <laughs> and last, now don't we have another one by Hurston? Last, right? last but not least is Mutsy by Zora Neil Hurston. Our new love, our new life, one of the greatest writers of all time, Zora Neale Hurston. Ooh, can't wait for that one. Yeah, I feel like she's my new Flannery. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we say that every year. We have like a new one. We're like, oh, this is our favorite one this year. So I'm, you know, I'm excited for when we get to dress up and try to debate the best one. Maybe we'll try to play a game and rank them what? or something again. Well, we, we should do this. Okay, so so we're going to do like a greatest short story award ceremony of some sort, right? Like, like let's, let's, let's commit yep. to that. We should oh, yeah. do. I'm gonna like, dress you know, up. You know how people do those like top five authors, top five novels, like like it, lists are like one of those like like a lot of people click on them, so that's like, it's kind of like clickbait. Like people know those videos do good, so that's why they create that content. We should do something like that, but more fun. And we should do like what we think the top five authors are between the two of us. We should do like a debate, or we should do some type of a unique spin on it. But we should also dress up for that one too. Okay. Yeah. I've got, I got several suits. Let's do it. You know what we should do when COVID's over? We should arm wrestle for it. Hmm. I, I don't know if I'm up to par on that anymore. It's like, you you know, you know, like when they have like those stats for like, like the fighters, uh, I would totally have the reach advantage on, on, on the arm wrestling match. You're like nine feet tall. I'm five, six. I know I would have a total reach advantage, but you would have like the, the bicep circumference advantage or whatever, like whatever that <laughs> measure. Over would. the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You totally out masculine. Maybe that, that one. <laughs> How's your beard looking? My beard's it's okay. I just recently trimmed it okay. up. I, um, oh, okay. I, I okay. need to get my, my, my haircut. I'm getting a little scraggly on the sides over here. So oh, I'm getting get, my haircut this Saturday. You know what? I'm going to get my haircut this Saturday. I'm not going to let you do this alone. Dude, bro haircut okay. together, and then we'll take selfies and send them to each other. Yep. Mask up. Yeah, and then we'll post them up. on our Let's Discord. This. Go to our Discord. We'll post them there. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, guys. Uh, I hope you had some fun today. We we did. Uh, I, I do apologize for missing out on last month's. We're a bunch of noobs. We're new at this booktube thing. What can we say? We're terrible. But we do have so much fun doing these, and I appreciate you guys all two of you that made it to this part in the video for celebrating with us. Both of you, comment down below that you made it this this far in the video because I'd love to know uh, who made it besides Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be either my mother, my sister, or my wife. <laughs> oh, who's going to get there first? The mother or the wife? Or Leslie? Uh, <laughs> Probably Leslie. <laughs> Leslie. It'll be Leslie. Yeah, right, she's, she's the best. All of our friends that we've mentioned today, Leslie, Noah. Did we mention Jack today? I don't know if we mentioned Jack, but you should check out Jack. Why not? Like, Go check out Brian from Bookish. These, these are great yeah, people. Tag, just... Start tagging people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, doing yeah. a tag Alan, video Alan. now. <laughs> yeah, this is turning into a tag video. These are our friends. Go check out their videos because we love them and they think that we think they're awesome. Uh, we can't be here all night, dude. It's oh, we're over on time. My wife's gonna kill me. We, we gotta are? go. Oh Ooh, gosh. Okay, Hi, guys. Let's Luna, do it. Videos Monday, Thursday. Subscribe, like, comment, love. We love you. Bye. Peace. <laughs>